Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to try tie dyeing a few things. We've got we've got some shirts, some masks. And I think I think Daisy even has a dress, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what we're doing here, I'm going to put these gloves on because we are going to be working with dye, and I don't want to be colored up for ever. This is this is our dye prep. It's the uh, soda ash. Um, and you already collected the hot water here, just an old pickle jar. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into pouring this over in it there. Open your bag pretty easy. And what it is, is you basically, well, just blew away. you basically gotta put your stuff over in, in the warm water with the soda ash and let it, uh, let it go for, Said. So we'll be right back after 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes, guys, and we're going to pull them out and see what we can do with them now. By the way, this is the first time that I have actually ever done this by myself, so this is a whole new ball fit for me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt it on the sponge. And I really, really don't know how this is going to turn out. Ooh. What I'm gonna do is just roll it up. And from what I've seen and understand, you pretty much just put it in a food city bag, let it set for, well, I guess anything more than five, six hours will be all right.
this is her shirt that she's, I believe she's imagining something here to go here, like a, I don't know, maybe a Bob Ross uh, work of art here. So here she goes. So we've we've given it some time. Uh, they're they're completely dry now, and there was a process to it. We had to rinse them in cold water, and then we hung them up and let them air dry, but basically in our bathroom above our in our shower with the shower rod. Um, they drip for ever, and dye gets everywhere in the bath in the bathtub. So this one was Daisy's. Turned out really good. And this one was my wife's. And uh, it's the guitar one. <laughs> Let us know if you can see it, comment down below. But uh, it turned out really good, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I believe she is too. So, and this was Daisy's dress. It looks like I've poured bleach all over it and but she's so happy with it that she just is completely ecstatic about it. So let's see the masks here now. This poor sad one was mine. It's the least colored one. It's got a lot of white in it. Um, this one was Daisy's. And this was supposed to have been the heart. And it kind of still resembles it just a little bit there. So it turned out a little bit better than than mine did, apparently. And this one is my wife's other shirt. As you can see, it it turned out really good too. A lot of white still right in here, but I mean, kind of goes with that, I think. But what do I know about clothes, anyway. And then I'm wearing my my terrible <laughs> sponged one, but I kind of like it. I mean, I can rock it. So. But that's it, that's the conclusion of our tie-dye <laughs> experiment there. Um, and, and we only done just a few uh, different ways. There's actually several more ways that you can do it. There's one where you can take a, uh, like a stick or something in the center and spin it and it swirls it up and then you take rubber bands, put around it and tie-dye that that way. We didn't do that one because that one's kind of hard to do. But uh, but anyway, that's, that's the sum of it there. And, uh, as always, thank you for watching and uh, please help us grow by hitting that subscribe button and hit that like button. And if you liked what we've done and have any questions or anything, feel free to comment down below. We'll gladly answer any questions. Y'all have a good one.